This is the bigotry of low expectations. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about this very interesting clip from a group of California K through 12 teachers who say that if you correct your black students when they say "ax" rather than "ask," you may be participating in white supremacy and racism. Now, this clip is totally crazy. Shout out to Myth and Former Walkie for bringing it to my attention. I will link to their profile and the original clip in the description box. If you're on IG, visit a link in the bio. Go to the corresponding article on the website. But first, before we get into the clip, I just want to say this. There are some cultural differences between blacks and whites and other groups in America because of history and a lot of other things. But at a certain point, we share a common language, Yes. And I think that we got to be able to talk to each other and be able to understand and have some kind of common ground. Now, I know I don't speak the Queen's English 100%, but you're able to understand me. You're able to hear this video, listen to me talk, and grasp what I'm saying. And the closed captions should be able to pick up what I'm saying without much trouble. When we get into all the heavy slang and whatnot, it gets really weird to the point where if you go to certain parts of the country, it's, it's unintelligible. You don't know what's going on, what's being said, although you're a native English speaker. Now, I have my own personal anecdotal story that I'm going to get into in a minute. But first, first things first, let's roll the clip. This is really crazy, but I'm not surprised. Uh, it's California. It's K through 12 academia you know kind of what you're going to get but without further ado let's go ahead and roll it saw this in my time in the public school system uh, when a uh, black or african-american child says to their teacher teacher can i ask you a question and the immediate response being from the teacher uh, with a sense of superiority based in uh, white racial superiority, often with our 84% white female teachers, uh, the response being, that's not how we say ask. We say ask. Ax isn't a word. And so we have children that understand their home language practices uh, to be not just deficit, not just wrong, but broken, uh, ignorant. The list goes on and on. Um, as to what it communicates when you police a child's language that their home and their community has taught them. Uh, so for me, I really like to ask my teachers to start with that identity work and look at yourself uh, and understand uh, what are you bringing into the classroom as a norm and what do you need to maybe make? Okay, so <laughs> you heard that, you saw that, you saw the reaction of the two, I suppose, black female uh, teachers, but I don't see right here as the black male teacher, but that's a different story. And for now, I digress. But the white lady, she's saying, hey, you know what? Uh, to correct a student when they say ax rather than ask, that's rooted in racial superiority, white superiority, white supremacy, I suppose. This is ridiculous. Now, let me come back. Okay, let me, let me give you my story and... My story is my story is anecdotal, whatever. Okay, you can say that. But I know a lot of other black folks, this is their story as well. In the household, many of us are corrected when we start to say words improperly. Um, and for me personally, I remember it was, it, it was quite a few words I would come home and say, then I would get corrected. But one word specifically, it was foe. I don't know why I started saying this. I think I might have been high school maybe about 14, 15 years old, right around that age range. And I would call home and say, foe, just in conversation. And every single time my mom would, I would get yelled at. That's not how you say it. Say it right. It's for, not foe, every single time. To the point where when you hear that every day and you're saying the word the wrong way, and to be clear, I didn't grow up saying it that way, but I'm outside hanging out with friends and I picked it up. But it was corrected at home. Now, is that rooted in white supremacy or white racial superiority? Is that what it's rooted in? Or is it just my mom um, being a mother and raising me, setting rules and boundaries and things of that nature? And if you are a school teacher, is it white supremacy to teach kids how to speak properly? 
how to like, isn't it, isn't that your actual job to teach now to be clear? I'm not saying it's the teacher's 100% job to do everything for the child at a certain point, they got to have a good home life and learn some things there. But when they go to school, the, the goal, the objective is to learn it's to learn. So why would you not teach kids certain things? It's not rooted in race, racial uh, superiority or white supremacy. It's not like that. I mean, you go to a lot of black households, um, certain things are frowned upon, this and that and all of that. Now, I know I may say, I may not pronounce the TH on certain words like, um, well, I'll say this, but it depends on the situation. Uh, this, that, them. Sometimes I may not pronounce the TH 100% all the way, but in many black households across the country, if you don't pronounce the TH, that's going to be a problem. Don't say this, that, that, you know, that that's an issue that a lot of us face. Um, many things. Uh, I remember when I, I talk, I used to talk to dad on the phone for a long time and I would say certain words. It's like, is that how you pronounce it? <laughs> like it, it was a thing. I don't understand this whole thing about it being white supremacy. Both of my grandparents on my dad's side were teachers. So, um, academic performance, uh, pronouncing words properly, knowing how to count doing math and all things like that. Like when I was a kid, I got taught certain formulas, mathematics, how to, um, figure out percentages and units of measurement at home. At home, I was taught these things. At home, I was given flashcards and things of that nature. We should be encouraging more at-home education, more at-home studies combined with in-school studies to produce kids that know more. Not just how to pronounce ask versus ax, but other things as well. Like, I don't know how to read, <laughs> how to count to 100 without using your fingers. I mean... Things like that, we should really be championing. So, yeah, that, that video was totally crazy, but I'm not surprised. I, I'm not surprised at all. And this is part of the reason why uh, K through 12 academia, a lot of these liberal places, is is bad. It's bad. We're worried about white supremacy, things of that nature. Meanwhile, you got kids, black kids, and sometimes other races of kids that graduate and can't even read because there are other things that are the, the focus. You know what's funny is that She'll say that it's racist to, cor to correct X versus ask. But when you're talking about drag queen story time and LGBT, oh, it's not out of bounds to talk about that, to teach that kind of stuff. All right. Kid can be five or six years old and they will allow them to have a different name, a, a, a female name when they are actually a biological XY male. That kind of thing goes on. It's not really a problem. But then when it comes to, uh, pronouncing words properly you want to draw the line right there it's totally ridiculous completely ridiculous but again this is why a lot of these kids cannot read graduate in high school 18 years old they have no skills this is part of the reason why and as i close i want to say this shout out to all the teachers and parents that teach their kids uh the proper way to speak now again i'm not going to sit here and say i speak the queen's english don't get it confused However, I speak in a way that anyone who speaks English can understand me. There are some parts of this country where you go and they're speaking English. You can't understand it. You can't understand it. You have no idea what's going on. I don't speak that way. I was not raised to speak that way. I mean, my, my mom, my dad, grandparents, everybody in my family would correct me when I would say certain things improperly. This is just kind of... I don't know. It's bigotry, low expectations. This right here, what you just saw, that's the racism right there. So when going back to the whole Charlemagne and Larry Elder thing on the breakfast club, when Charlemagne is like, Hey, give me an example. Or when he's saying there is racism institutionally, that might be an example, right? What we just saw right there might be a prime example, but I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you, is it racist to correct a black kid or any kid, but a black kid we're talking about, is it racist to correct them when they say X versus ask? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. It is not racist. If you're a teacher, you teach. And that should be combined with that child's at-home life, the parents 
the mom, the dad, the grandma, the aunties, the uncles. Somebody needs to teach these kids at home some things before they go to school. It needs to be, uh, um, it needs to be an effort in which all parties are collaborating, a collaborative effort to get these kids on the right track. And I'm going to add one last thing before I close. I don't even know where the, the term X came from. To me, it takes the same effort to pronounce X as it does ask because you're pronouncing the K hard. Normally, when I say ask, I'm not pronouncing the K completely, but I'm also not pronouncing the X. It's the same effort. So I don't even understand where it comes from. It's not difficult to do it. Let's teach proper ways to speak and to behave. And I don't know. Let's just teach kids things rather than not teaching them for the sake of wokeness. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace. Thank <music> you.